All right, about a year ago, Bill Wilson and I were discussing Wilson Combat 1911s. I have a number of them. And one of the things I mentioned to Bill was I'd like to have a really nice one. Now, in my part of the world, we call them go-to-town guns. Down in Texas and Arkansas, they refer to them as barbecue guns. The reality is when you go to town, you want a nice gun on or you're going to a special occasion. I live in a part of the world where people open carry. It's a standard way of life, particularly in the, in the Mountain West. And I wanted a really nice, attractive showpiece pistol. And what I had in mind at the time, I told Bill, is I wanted one of his pistols. I wanted it blued. I wanted a blued finish, and I wanted ivory stocks on it. You can see, I'm kind of a fan of ivory. In the end result, I specced out a pistol. Um, here's what I'd like to have. And Bill sat down, and we worked together, and we came up with specifications. It's a 5-inch Wilson Combat 1911, all steel. Um, the gun obviously is fit. And, and made to the detail that Wilson does, so the guns are very accurate, extremely reliable. But some of the unique things to the pistol I wanted was, for example, I'm a big fan of fixed sights, use the Wilson battle sights. On my particular uh, personal gun, I've got a gold bead front sight. I'm a big fan of gold bead front sights and U-notch rears. One thing I found that when you carry a pistol on a regular basis, particularly if you do carry it concealed, the long grip safety sometimes can print, particularly if you bend over. So Bill offers what they call concealed carry beaver tail. You know, it's a bit shorter. And a corresponding hammer design that doesn't protrude his back. Remember back when the hammer's back, it's nice and flush. And for me, I find an extended amount of the beaver tail grip safety. Even though I have a big hand, I really don't need. I just need enough to protect my hand. So that was a feature. We did a modification of slide. I like what basically the, the ball end cuts, kind of reminiscent of the very first 1911s. And I like grasping grooves. You know, a lot of people say, well, why front grasping grooves? You know, the normal way we cycle the gun or check it or load it is we reach up here and load it like so. But there are times it's handier to reach up and grab the front of the slide. And I like the grasping grooves up here. So I can grab, if I want to press check, I can do it like so. So I like that feature. So everything else in the gun, fairly similar, for example, uh, he offers a short, medium, and long trigger. I like a medium, even though I have a long hand. What I find is if you have a long trigger and you're wearing gloves, and I live in a part of the world where you got to wear gloves in the wintertime, the long trigger can actually produce a, you know, a shortage of space. So the medium trigger allows me plenty of room with a glove. I asked him to put a Wilson Magwell on it, in this case, the Bulletproof, the one piece, extremely rugged, beautifully blended in. I like a Magwell. You know, people tell me you don't need them, but under stress, reloading this pistol, that little extra effort of getting the magazine in, being able to find the Magwell and seat in the pistol, I think even though it adds, oh, probably a quarter inch to the length of the butt, the advantage it has, particularly under stress with gloves, cold hands, whatever, of seating that magazine and getting it in the pistol, I like the Magwell. My personal gun that Bill did for me has ivory grips. But the way the gun normally comes is with the starburst grips, which, by the way, are extremely attractive and very functional. They feel great on the gun. Pistol's set up to have about a four-pound trigger. Mine is superbly accurate. Um, it's got a, basically a little bit of bevel on the edges of the slides, the frames. It, it, the gun doesn't have any sharp edges. It's going it's to braid your hands or tear up your holsters or whatever. In blued finish, I think it's quite attractive. Now, for a lot of people, blue may not be practical. Obviously, they offer the armor touch Tough finish, which is extremely rugged and durable. Variety of colors and, and that to suit your needs. This one's black and gray, kind of a personal favorite of mine. Uh, this version, by the way, has the green fiber optic front sight, which I got to tell you, is quite functional. I had Bill make me a second gun, and this is it. It's a nine millimeter. And you'll notice mine has a fiber optic sight. It's the armor tough finish with ivory. The bottom line is the Hackathorn Special is a gun that reflects my taste and my needs for a go-to-town gun. Um, functional every day. I shoot a 9mm a lot more than I used to, mainly because my hands now have been so beat up from shooting a lot of 44 mag, 45 auto over the years that, quite honestly, if I shoot much 45, my hands suffer, shoot, shoot a lot of 9. The pistol can be made in any of the calibers, you know, 9, 38 super, 10mm, 45, whatever you want. Uh, my 45 is a carry gun, 9mm tends to be my shooting gun. It is a really nice pistol, one I'm proud of, and, uh, and I'm pleased to see that Bill felt it was worthy to offering to his catalog. I think it's a pistol that you will find ideal.